Alonso retires. Luck is on our side today, ladies and gents. Welcome back, everyone, to some more F123 driver career mode. It is time for a contract renewal period, meaning that we can move away from AlphaTauri if we would like, or we can stay here. Currently, the performance chart looks as the following. Aston Martin at the top with Ferrari, Mercedes, and Haas in that order with AlphaTauri P5, and we've been performing pretty well, so I am tempted to stay. Red Bull behind us with McLaren, Williams, Alpine, and Alfa Romeo rounding out the chart. So things are looking okay. We got 4,000 research points in the bank, but the big concern here is that we may be stuck with upgrades being stuck at their current levels mainly because we have no additional like f uh, available upgrades except for the brake upgrades master cylinders and maybe calipers once we get that i don't know um otherwise we've maxed out we need spec 3 in order to really improve our car a little further but maybe i should stay here for another half of the season um we'll see if they will give me additional money we'll go for a medium risk here because i want a little bit more cash available signed for the rest of the season let's go let's see if other teams have opted for a different driver we do have a good amount of perk fund um engine wear reduced by 20 percent now that is going to be important because we have a long long uh season so yeah, that is going to be important. Driver claim boost, not really important in this series. And resource point income is not really important at this time, considering we are fully stocked. Let's take a look and see if there have been some movements in the paddock. Yeah, it seems like it's a little boring. The grid hasn't changed much. 96 focus for my teammate, though. 93 rating. That is pretty nice to see. I'm $6.27 million in market value. And uh, Sunoda is 7.02. That is quite interesting indeed. But let's get ready for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Hungary is a track that I think I've done pretty well at. But I do struggle a bit. Last time out, Brit Britain, the UK Grand Prix was a wild one. Absolutely uncertain how crazy it was. If you guys missed that, make sure you check out the link in the description for the playlist of all the videos. But yeah, without further ado, let's go to Hungary. Hungaro Ring. Let's see how well we perform here. Alright, now that we got our contract secured for the remainder of the season, welcome to the Hungaro Ring for the Hungarian Grand Prix weekend. So, I think this may be the longest I've signed with the team in a driver career mode series. So, I'm pretty excited to see how we'll finish off the season. Uh, but yeah, Red Bull are back up on top. They are ahead of us. So, we'll see if we can stay competitive against them. They are our rivals, of course, at this time, which is quite ironic. But uh, we'll see if we can stay competitive. So, let's see what our first laps look like. Hopefully we'll make it into Q2 and maybe even into Q3. Oh, here we go then. Let's see what our first lap says about us. P8. We can go directly for another lap. We got enough battery and enough fuel. All right, six cents improved. Brings us up to P3. That is a solid lamp from the Alpha Dowdy. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right, by the end of the session, uh, I just stayed in after those two laps. And what would you know? P9's just ahead behind Fernando Alonso ahead of Verstappen by 30 thousandths of a second. Yuki Tsunoda P7, which is quite solid as well. Both of us making it through. Sergeant Albon, Joe, Ocon, and De Vries out. Let's move on to the next round. Whoa, there we go. Eight tenths, nine tenths improved. I think that should be enough to get us into the next round. Yes, Q3. We're making it into Q3 with P9. I mean, it wasn't the greatest of laps, but it's enough to get us through. 115.5 knocked out our Piaggi, Bottas, Gassi, Magnussen, and Perez. Wow. A Red Bull already out. One Red Bull left. Let's see if we can beat that Red Bull in Q3 and maybe even get a couple more positions. All right, let's see. 
Three tenths, almost four tenths improved. I think I set the fastest sector three. How good is that? P4, I will take that. I will take that considering where our car performance is. Huge results seeing myself in P4, Sunoda and Verstappen in P10 and P9 respectively. This is a good starting position so let's see what we can do from P4. This is a really good chance for another podium here in Hungary. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of Formula One action. We're not expecting too many retirements at this circuit. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralph Schumacher, who made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking's always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile track. The last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. So let's hope we're in for another one here today. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. An immense lap from Fernando Alonso yesterday puts him on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, the rookie, Leclerc, Norris, Stroll, Sainz, Verstappen, Sonoda, Perez, Magnussen, Gasly, Bottas, Oscar Piastri, De Vries, Ocon, Joe, Albon, and Logan Sargent. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. P4 is a very promising position to start from. It shows that a two stop is likely. Um, it's a possibility here if you can take a look at the one below. Tire deck, I believe, is quite severe around here, so uh, let us just prepare a two stop here. Um, Let's see. Mm. Okay, 12, 12, 11 is the way to go by the looks of it. Um, that is going to be quite fast. Otherwise, we can do a one stop medium to softs or medium to hards, which I think is also a possibility um, to get an undercut on the guys ahead, something like that maybe. It'll be a tad bit slower, but it might be worth exploring. So yeah, let's do this. Let's have these two strats available to us. I'll drop by 200 grams essentially. And let's start this race. We'll have two strategies in the back of our mind and good to go. The formation lap gets underway then and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions can affect the lifespan of the tires. take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right, which ones have got it horribly wrong? The All right, here we go then. Let's get this Hungarian Grand Prix underway. Then Hungarian ring lights out. And we're off. Well, we got a decent start. Russell and Alonso just ahead. Getting P2 with a nice turn one overtake on the two Mercedes. Nice. Trying to stay close to Alonso. He is in the fastest car now. The yeah, Aston Martin overtaking the Mercedes and Fer uh, Ferrari cars regarding performance. But we are close by.
Come on, stay close to Alonzo. Wow, he takes a lot of momentum through there. That's okay though, we'll find momentum elsewhere. That's good. Staying close. This is alright. Okay, everyone's driving very well. No crashes. We'll see if a safety car gets deployed. I wonder if I used up all my red flags last episode. Game was wild in that episode. So we'll see if we can have a good steady race here. Alright, the fastest lap attempt here. Let's see. Yes, we do get a 117.984. Surely it's going to get beaten with a DRS enabled now. But let's see. Alonso. Staying close to him. Hamilton and Russell also close behind us. Let's see if we can keep these guys behind and try to get the move on Alonso done. Alright, losing touch to Alonso. He's really pushing now. Two seconds up the road. Oh, I don't have the pace. I don't have the pace of that Aston Martin. We are closing in on our pit window soon. We'll have to make a decision if we want to do a one-stop or if we're going to do a two-stop. We'll see. Right now, tires are looking okay. On target for a two-stopper. Box this lap. We made it to our pit stop with the hards. A one-stop is possible now. I thought track position is going to be important here. Alonso's not too far away. I thought he would run away with it like 20 seconds or so. But good to see he's still within reach. These guys might be trying to push for softs. I don't know. But I'm going in for hards right now. Oh, they are pitting. Alright, we're in, we're in, we're in for the hards. Let's go. Let's get a quick pit stop in, please. Can we get a good pit stop in? Boom. Optimal 2.2. Double stacking at Alpha Dauri. That's what we love to see. Good exit. P7. Not bad. Oh, Hamilton's stuck in traffic. That's fantastic. Yes, please. Let's see if we can get Alonso. I have a lot of battery. I should start using it. Oh, yellow flag, yellow flag. What is this? Who's retiring? Someone ahead, I think. Oh, it's Alonso. It's Alonso. We have effective race lead right now. Alonso retires. Luck is on our side today, ladies and gents. Maybe we can dive it on Perez here. Nice. And we got Stroll. He gives us DRS. That's good. That's exactly what we needed. Good. The gamble pays off. Let's go. Let's push. We got the effective race lead as Alonso retires the car. Gasly mounting a valiant defense against Hamilton and everyone behind. Oh, Hamilton has made the move past Gasly, so has Leclerc. So Gasly has conceded position. Now they're going to be pushing for me. It's down to us three to decide who gets the steps on the podium. Who gets what step on the podium, that is. I want this win, man. Ooh, Esteban Ocon is out. 
We've just been managing our distance to Hamilton here, but Esteban Ocon has retired the car. Now is that enough for a safety care? No, not at all. We just continue. Yeah, it's come down to Hamilton and myself for the win of this race. It's gonna be interesting. Trying to keep my distance here of about uh, 0 0.5. One second with racing like that, it's gonna be impossible, but let's see. It's gonna come down to the wire. Alright, I'm gonna do the smart thing. I'll let Hamilton through here. Maybe I have DRS, I don't know. Is it where's the detection zone? I don't know about that. Oh I think I just crossed the detection zone. Oh no. Oh no, we're in trouble. All right, we got to push. This is the final lap. Leclerc has brought himself into the fight as well. All right, we're good. We're good. Hamilton trying to switch back. Not allowing him. Oh my god, he touched me. Someone touched me on the outside wheel. I think it was Hamilton, he locked tires with me. I'm defending for my life here. It's a three-way battle for P1. Let me focus, concentrate. They're punching it with their ERs for sure. Now it's my turn. The later stages of the lab, that's when I will start using my battery. They don't have that much grip out of this turn here. My high downforce package allows me to get good grip. Especially on exit. These guys struggle on the exit. Maybe their downforce package isn't as good. And yeah, I think we've done it. Wow, what a Grand Prix. We've just secured the win here in Hungary. Wow. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. There'll be smiles at the factory after that one. A great race and a real team performance to take victory here in Hungary. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. And the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Our winners are heading to the podium right now. Alpha Tauri have done an exceptional job when it comes to forging new talent. And seeing them take home the victory today is a huge positive for the future of the sport. And there we have it. What a victory today to secure P1 or the most points we could get. I mean, we missed out on the fastest lap because of Pierre Gasly. He did a two-stopper today, but he also held up a lot of cars for us. So that is why we see a massive gap between Verstappen and Sainz. And whoa, what happened to Norris? He dropped in the final stage because he was in P4. All of a sudden, he's down in P7. Wow, that's interesting. But myself, Leclerc, Hamilton on the podium for Stappen, Science, Magnus and Norris, Bottas, Piaget, and Albon in the points. Stroll, Perez, Gasly, Sonoda, Joe, De Vries, Russell, and Sargent round out the finishers with Ocon and Alonso failing to finish today's race. If it wasn't for Alonso's DNF, I'm sure I would have gotten P2 instead of P1. So I got to be happy about that DNF. Someone's loss is my gain. Um, I am now sitting P4. Okay, this is getting interesting now. 70 points away from Charles Leclerc, who is 
is leading the championship right now. George Russell drops down to P2 with Hamilton in P3. So this is getting tense now as we enter the second half of the season with Tsunoda down in P10. Couldn't score any points today. AlphaTauri up to P3. I mean, we were P3 heading into this weekend, but we solidify our position here. 180 points to our name. 111 points behind Ferrari, which is quite a margin to go. So I think... P3 is the most we can get out of the season. Red Bull still struggling. 13 points behind us though, so that is not a big margin to our father team, brother team. I don't know what to call them, but yeah, they're um, the other team. Uh, so yeah, that is good. Splendid Grand Prix. Very strong performance, and there we have it. P1. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well, so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for support. Take care, and I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.